I warmly welcome all of you to the Speaking English Online Lecture Series, which has been designed by the International Association for Quality Education, along with South Asian International Association for Early Childhood Care and Development, in order to provide support to anyone who is keen in developing their communication skills. I am Dishan Jaganathan, Operational Leader of International Association for Quality Education. And I'll be briefing you on Lesson 3, which is Subject plus Noun and Adjective in Present Tense. This series has been designed under the guidance of Mr. Janaka Kamal Goda, President of International Association for Quality Education and President of South Asian International Association for Early Childhood Care and Development. The Sustainable Development Goals of this organization is to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunity opportunities for all. The purpose of organizing this lecture series is to improve communication skills in English and to overcome challenges in the global society. Let's enter into the lesson. As we've already discussed in lesson one and two, we'll just have a short briefing of subject. What is subject? A subject of a sentence is the person, place, or a thing that is performing the action of the sentence. The subject represents what or whom the sentence is about. The simple subject usually contains a noun or a pronoun. The subjects will be going through uh, I, you, we, they, he, she, and it. A noun. A noun is a word that represents a person, a thing, a concept, or a place. Adjective. An adjective is a word that describes or defines a noun or noun phrase. For example, if we take a flower, we could describe it with saying, beautiful flower, small flower, red flower, so on and so forth. So these words actually describe the characteristics of a flower. Types of sentences. Sentences can be classified into positive sentence, negative sentence, positive questions and negative question. Now we'll look into positive sentences. The structure of the positive sentence goes as subject plus am, is or are plus noun and adjective. I am a teacher. Here, I refers to the subject plus am. A teacher is the noun. Now, we could make use of an adjective to describe this sentence. I am a kind teacher. So, I is the subject followed by am and kind is the adjective. It describes the quality of the teacher and teacher is the noun. Likewise, they are cricketers. They are best cricketers. Nimal is a student. Nimal is a clever student. The structures of positive sentences has been given in this slide. Goes as you, I followed by am plus noun or adjective plus place and time. We, you, they plus are 
plus noun, plus an adjective, plus place and time. He, she, it, plus is, noun or adjective, plus place and time. Structures of the positive sentences. Now we look at some examples here. I am a teacher in your English class. I am a teacher in your English class. We are students in this English class. You are the leader in our group. They are cricketers in our national team. He is PR. She is my class teacher. It is Nuge Goda. When we look at these examples, the examples begin with the subject, which are I or we, you, they, he, she, it, plus am, is or are, followed by the noun. We could add the place or time as well as to expand the sentence that we make. Structure of the positive sentences. Let's look at some more, adject some more examples with adjectives included. So the form would be Subject plus am or is or are plus adjective plus noun along with place and time. The adjective always comes before the noun. I am a passionate teacher in your English class. I is the subject followed by am. Passionate is the adjective. And teacher is the noun. We are good students in the class. V is the subject followed by R. Good is an adjective and noun is the students. So good describes the kind of students in the class. You are an honest leader in our group. You subject followed by R. Honest is an adjective and leader is a noun. Likewise, they are clever cricketers in our national team. Pial is a tall man. Kamani is a kind teacher in our school. Nuge Goda is a busy town in Kalambo. Here Nuge Goda is a subject Busy is the verb, I'm sorry, busy is the adjective which describes the noun which is town. Now we look at negative sentences. The structure of negative sentences, subject plus am or is or are plus not plus noun with the adjective. I am not a teacher. They are not cricketers. Nimal is not a student. Likewise, we could have a look at the same set of examples with the adjective included. I am not a good teacher. They are not talented cricketers. Nimal is not a clever student. Are not can be also pronounced as they aren't ta talented cricketers. 
And the last one, Nimal, is not, can also be contract used with contraction forms as Nimal isn't a clever student. The elaborate forms of the structure. I am not plus now, adjective, along with place and time. We, you, they, followed by aren't, are not, plus noun, an adjective, plus place and time. He, she, it, plus is not, or isn't, plus noun, an adjective, plus place and time. The examples, I mean, I am not an English teacher of this school. Here, I is a subject followed by am. Not. English is the adjective. Teacher is the noun. I am not an English teacher of this school. We aren't good students in the class. We is a subject, plus are not is contracted as aren't. Good is an adjective followed by noun students. You aren't an honest leader in our group. You is the subject, aren't. An honest leader, honest is the adjective, and leader is the noun. Rest of the sentence is in our group. They are talented cricketers in our national team. They is the subject, aren't. Talented is an adjective followed by the noun cricketers. Is in our national team. Pial isn't a tall man. Pial is a subject followed by isn't. A tall man. Tall describes Pial, which is an adjective, and man is a noun. Kamani isn't a kind teacher in our class. Kamani is the subject, plus isn't a Kind refers to the adjective, followed by the noun teacher. Nuge Goda isn't a busy town in Colombo. Nuge Goda is a subject. Isn't a busy is the adjective, and town is the noun. Now we'll move into positive questions. While making questions, please keep in mind <clears throat> am, is, or are comes in, in front of the subject. The question begins with the words am, or is, or are, and it ends with the adjective and the noun. <clears throat> am I a teacher? Am I a passionate teacher? Here, passionate is the adjective. It describes the quality of the teacher. And am plus the subject here is I. Are they cricketers? Are they talented cricketers? Is Nimal a student? Is Nimal a clever student? So, Keep in mind the questions of <coughs> positive questions begin with am or is or are followed by the subject plus the noun and adjective. The positive question structure goes as am plus I plus noun and adjective plus place with time. 
R is used for we, you, and they. Plus noun and adjective, plus place and time. Is is used for he, she, it. Plus noun and adjective, plus place and time. Let's look at a few examples. Am I an English teacher in this school? Am I an English teacher in this school? So the question begins with the word am followed by the subject I and English is the adjective and teacher is the noun. Are we good students in the class? Are you an honest leader in your in our group? Are they talented cricketers in our national team? Is PR a tall man? Kamani is Kamani a kind teacher in our school? Is Nuge Goda a busy town in Colombo. So here Nugekoda is the subject and busy is the adjective followed by the noun type. Next we'll look at negative questions. The negative question structure is am or is or are plus not. Here we could use the contraction for is not as isn't and are plus not as aren't plus subject plus the noun and adjective. Am I not a teacher? Am I not a good teacher? Now, if we take this example, the question word begins with am, followed by the subject I and not. But when we compare the second and third examples, aren't they talented cricketers? Are not is contracted as aren't, and the question starts with aren't, followed by the subject they. Talented is the adjective, cricketers is the noun. Similarly, isn't Nimal a clever student? The question starts with the contracted form of is not, which is isn't, plus the subject Nimal, a clever student. Clever is the adjective and student is the noun. The breakup of the negative question structure. Am I not plus noun and adjective plus place and time? Am I not plus noun and adjective plus place and time? Are not is used for we, you, and they plus noun and adjective plus place and time. And is not, which is isn't, is used for he, she, it, plus noun and adjective, plus place and time. The examples are, am I not a passionate teacher of this school? Am I not? So, the passionate word passionate refers to the adjective and the word teacher represents the noun. Aren't we good students in the class? Aren't plus we is the subject. Good is the adjective here, followed by the noun students. Aren't you an honest leader in our group? 
Aren't they talented cricketers in our national team? Isn't Pial a tall man? Isn't Kamani a kind teacher in our school? Isn't Nugegoda a busy town in Kalambo? So when we use you, we and they, we start the questions with aren't. And when we use the subjects, he, she, it, which is third person narrative, we begin the questions with isn't. And first person narrative always begins the question with the word am, am I not. What we have discussed so far has been summarized in this slide. The four types, positive sentence, negative sentence, positive question, negative question. In positive sentence, I am a teacher, you are a student, he is Mr. Pial. The subject comes first, followed by am or are or is, followed by the adjective and the noun. For negative sentences, the subject is followed by am not or are not, which is aren't, and is not, which is isn't, followed by the adjective and noun. I am not a teacher. You aren't a student. He isn't Mr. PR. <laughs> Moving on to the positive and negative questions. Am or are, is or are comes in front of the subject. For example, am I a teacher? Here I is the subject and teacher is a noun. Am I not, I'm sorry, are you a student? Is he Mr. Pial? Negative questions begin with, as I said earlier, the questions begin with am or are or isn't. There's a special case which we need to remember. For first person narrative, it goes as am I not? Am I not a teacher? Aren't you a student? Isn't he Mr. PL? These are the four types of sentences we've discussed in this lesson. Assessment and evaluation. Please visit us on the given website https www.iafqe.org. Go to the Speak in English lecture series. Follow the guidance to complete the assessment process. Watch the next lesson to become fluent in English. Thank you for listening and have a nice day. See it through